Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So today we will see measures of central tendency. So from statistics subject, in statistics subject this is one of the base and important chapter. One of the most object of every statistics is that to know the value, central value which represents the entire value, entire data that can be given in one value that is why we say it as a measures of central value. In measures of central value we have to calculate mainly the average, mainly the average apart from average we have some more concepts also. Now anyway let us focus only on the average. So what are the main objects? Average means you know uh, generally in your class suppose say 60 members are there. 60 members are getting different marks in particular subject. What is the average? What is the average? In the same way, any, uh, co uh, any company is there. Company, different people are there, different employees. All the employees' sal salaries are vary varies from one, pl from one income to another income like that. If you want to know the average income, <clears throat> if you know the average income, then you will say that this is the average income of that particular company. This is the average income of every Indian employee. This is the average uh, average percentage of particular school. So like average, average means from how many members are there? That divided by the total income divided by number of people. So that you will get the average. Average is you know normally. But in statistics, we have different strategies, different formulas to calculate the average. Mainly the motto of this calculation of average is here, two things you have to remember, the main object. To get one single value, one single value that describes the characteristics of the entire group, entire group, 60 members, 100 members, 1000 members, that everything is we are describing in one single value. So this is the first object. Okay, are you getting it? In the same way, second object is to facilitate comparison. Yes, you can do the comparison also here. One, one company to another company, one branch to another branch, one class to another class, one school to another school. Like you can do the comparison. These are the main objects of calculation of any average. Okay, now we are discussing about average. There are different kinds of average. So that is types of averages. One is arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean, median, mode, geometric mean and harmonic mean. These are the main types of averages. Let us focus only today arithmetic mean. We say it as a arithmetic mean or you can say it as a mean or average. Anything meaning is same. Okay. So here you must focus on a different series one is individual series discrete series and continuous series let me tell you the difference what is individual series discrete series and continuous individual series means some data will be given to you income of say 20 members income is given so that is individual as the problem is here income of 10 members is given this is individual series x let us assume it as x. So this is given. This is individual series. And what about discrete series? Discrete series means suppose say income of say income x, x is income. Say income 10,000 to 20,000. And 20,000 to or otherwise 10,000. 10,000 income, 20,000 income, 30,000 income, 40,000 and 50,000. There are different kinds of income group people. How many people are drawing 10,000 rupees? That is called as frequency. F, frequency. Suppose say 5 members are drawing 10,000 rupees and uh, 3 members are drawing 20,000. 30,000 is drawing by 2. 40,000 is drawing by again 5 and 50,000 is drawing by 6 members. When data is like this means income, 
how many members are drawing f that is frequency is given then this is discrete series okay in the same way uh, what is continuous series this is discrete series discrete series what is continuous series in continuous series this x is given between 10,000 to 20,000 how many people are there means we are taking class interval say 10,000 to 20,000 how many are there in the same way 20,000 to 30,000 30,000 to 40,000 and 40,000 to 50,000 like in between how many people are there again that is frequency suppose in between 10,000 to 20,000 10 employees are there between 20 to 30,000 20 are there 30 to 40,000 25 and 50 to 40 to 50,000 say 15 members this is we say it as a continuous series are you able to identify now this is very important individual series means only income is given how many people are drawing this income that is not given income of particular people income of how many people are there total 10 10 members income is given this is individual series discrete series income is given but this particular income is how many people are drawing that is frequency is given income with frequency that is discrete series when income is given in class interval like 10 10 to 20k how many people are drawing 20 to 30k 30 to 40 40 to 50 like in class interval when it is given along with frequency then that is continuous series am i clear okay let me rub this and let's focus only on today individual series today's class discrete and continuous series we'll do later because slowly if we learn you will become perfect now let's see how to calculate the arithmetic mean in individual series individual series means here the problem is given the following table gives the monthly income of 10 families 10 families monthly income is given in a city calculate arithmetic mean for calculation of arithmetic mean in individual series formulas are there are two methods direct method shortcut method shortcut method we can say it as indirect method also direct method formula is x bar is equal to sigma x by n remember this x bar is equal to sigma x by n and shortcut method x bar is equal to a plus sigma d by n both the methods are there we can calculate any one method in exam 99 percent nobody will ask you to follow either this method or the, that method you can follow any method this is easy direct method is easy so i would suggest you to go for direct method so that easily you can calculate you easily you can work out and rest of the time you can focus on the other problems okay anyway i'll show you both the methods very easy to calculate now right now formula is first one will go for the direct method x bar is equal to sigma x by n speak along with me that will be easy for you to by heart the formula as well as the sum also okay so x bar is equal to sigma x by n what is x income is given to us this income is we are saying it as x income is x now we'll write the formula here first x bar is equal to I will write here x bar is equal to sigma x by n this is the formula x bar means mean arithmetic mean are you getting it x bar means arithmetic mean arithmetic mean is equal to sigma x by n sigma x sigma means total sigma x by n sigma x means we need this total shall we calculate this total 1600 plus 1560 oh 1500 plus 1560 plus 1440 and 1530 
1670 1860 1750 1910 1490 and 1800 so together it is 16510 okay 16510 is the total as per the formula sigma x sigma x is here 15 16510 divided by n let me write clearly n n means number of observations number of observations how many numbers are there total 10 clear by 10 if you want i'll write here n is equal to 10 and sigma x is equal to 16 phi 10 if you calculate you will be getting 16 51 is the x bar arithmetic mean is 1651 am i clear and let's work out the second method also what is the second method x bar is equal to a plus sigma d by n okay i'll write the formula here once again x bar is equal to a plus sigma d by n we need sigma d sigma d i'll calculate there only d first we need to calculate d d if you get it then total of the d will be the sigma d how do you get d x minus a x minus a a means here assumed mean a means assumed mean any number you can assume it out of this or out of these numbers also out of this or out of these numbers any number you can assume as assume mean okay say for example what is the least number here 14 1440 i want to assume 1400 as assume mean 1400 why i have taken 1400 because x minus a means from this numbers 1400 you are going to deduct from these numbers x minus a x is 1600 minus a a means assumed mean i'm taking it as 1400 means all the numbers will be positive only if you take 1600 here 16 1600 minus 1600 0 1560 minus 1600 minus 40 like that calculation when it comes to the total or sigma of d so their plus or minus calculations will be difficult so better to take the least number so that all the values will be positive only now here uh, x minus a a means 1400 keep this in your mind 1400 okay 1600 minus 1400 how much it comes to 200 1560 minus 1400 160 1440 minus 1400 40 1530 minus 1400 130 1670 minus 1400 270 1860 minus 1400 460 and 1750 minus 1400 350 calculation is easy see uh, 1910 minus 1400 410 is it 410 no 510 it is 510 and 1490 minus 1400 90 1800 minus 1400 400 so like you got the d now as per the formula a plus sigma d by n sigma d we need na so let's total sigma d once again let me check the calculation if anything goes wrong we can see 1600 minus 1400 na 200 160 40 130 270 460 uh, 350 350 right 350 and uh, 510 90 400 okay now let's calculate this 200 plus 
200 at a time I will take 130 uh, plus 270 is comes to 400 and 460, 350, 510, 510 plus 90 comes to 600, 600 plus 400, 1000, 2016. 2016 is the total. Now apply it in this formula. A, A means assumed mean. Assumed mean is how much? 1400. 1400 plus sigma d is here 2610 divided by n. n is always 10 only as we know. 10. So if we add 1400 plus 261 comes to 1661 somewhere it, it's gone calculation 1661 means total somewhere we have done let me check this 16610 here so I made a small mistake while calculating 16610 this is 16610 610. It means 1661. Here you got correct 1661. Just small calculation. See, we need to be very careful. I generally, I am not habituated uh, in calculations like generally students used to do. I used to tell only the problem. Calculations, everything front bench students, somebody used to sit in it, so they used to do the calculation. Anyway, so both the sides you got 1661. Please be careful whether you are following first method, direct method or shortcut method, any method, answer should be the same. Am I clear? And uh, I will give you some homework. So this is the problem. This is homework problem. You need to do. See, the problem is given here, income of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10 members, income is given, income of 10 members. So in the same method, calculate shortcut method and direct method, both the methods, the answer should be 1662. If you get the same answer, let me know in the comment box, practice, you have done, yes, I feel very happy. So. Next class, we will see the discrete series. Are you followed this today's uh, individual series? If yes, please let me know in the comment box. Next class, discrete series, then after that continuous series, we will go step by step. Max is easy, statistics are max, nothing is difficult. If you understand it, that is it. So by the way, check out the playlist. There are many subjects which already prepared and follow it and do not forget to share these videos. Good luck.